Hey guys, Loki here from Fractured Gaming. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install three of the most wanted add-ons that are supported by our server. So, first thing you're going to want to do is download a program called 7-Zip. If you don't already have this, it works similar to WinRAR, uh, but it also unpackages 7-Zip files, which is what a lot of people use. So the first mod we're going to do is community based add-ons A3. So what this is, it's a prerequisite to other add-ons and mods like JSRS and BlastCore, which are the two I'm going to show you how to install today. So go here, click on community based add-ons A3, it'll download it. If this one doesn't work, there's always a second FTP you can do. The next step mod you're going to want to do is JSRS 2.2. This is a sound mod, high def sound mod that can pick up things to 500 meters or five clicks actually, uh, 500 meters away. Yes, yeah, see the distance will be played. Anyways, this is a very good mod. I highly recommend it for anyone. So you're going to want to go down here, same thing. Click on download from FTP1. If that doesn't work again or it's too slow, try this one out. The next thing you're going to want to download is BlastCore. This makes little booms go boom, makes them big and heavy. Uh, same thing, scroll down to the bottom, download, and that's it. Once your downloads are complete, you're going to want to go to your downloads folder, just like this, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to your Arma 3 directory. Normally it's in your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 3. If you don't know how to read that, then I'll do this, and maybe this will help you throw that to your search bar and you'll be good. So let's go ahead and start off. So let's start off with a prerequisite, uh, community-based add-ons. Open up a 7-zip file. You'll have a file in here. I'm sorry, a folder that has an at symbol. This is something that enables your mods, I believe. I don't know. So you can either open it. I'm sorry, you don't want to open it. Move to, and then you can choose the file or folder you want to move it to. I like to just drag it over. Bloop, CBA done. Next thing you want to do is JSRS 2.2. I think it's amazing also. Uh, it, there is a full version. Double click it. Same thing. Grab the at symbol. Drag it over to your folder. This one may take a minute to do. It is a very big uh, file. But again, I will say if uh, the download does take you a long time because it is a 1.1 gig file, it is definitely worth it. Uh, high def sounds, uh, rework sounds. Uh, it definitely changes your style of gameplay. The explosions are loud. It's also a delay explosion. If you shoot something far away, it'll blow up and then it'll take time for the sound to reach you depending on how far away you are. Uh, it has definitely made my gameplay in Arma a lot better uh, and it will definitely help a lot of other players who play Arma. So definitely a very very good mod uh, I actually think that Arma should have put this in themselves and not let somebody else do it uh, not saying he did a bad job but Arma could have done or Bohemia could have done a lot better than what they did so anyways once this file folder gets over there exit out of that and then the next one you're going to want to do is BlastCore A3 once it loads Grab the at BlastCore A3, same thing, bloop, throw it over there. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and exit out of these. You're going to want to throw up your Arma 3. And then you're going to want to go through the annoying, lovely, stupid load symbols on everything. That gets extremely annoying, you know. I guess I could just do this like that. I'd rather do this. Boop, boop. Once Armor 3 is up, you're going to want to click on Configure Expansions. I already have these selected, but I'll go ahead and unselect them and show you how to reselect them 
for our lower-minded individuals. Okay, so when you come in here, if you've never installed these before, it's going to look like this, or you're not going to have a couple other things, but uh, all you're going to want to do is double-click community-based add-ons, bloop, on. Next thing you want to do is do JSRS, and then you're going to want to do Blast Core. Done. Click OK. Restart now. Then you want to go to. You need to look here and see your community's community based add ons is loaded. Or you can just go to configure, expansions, and make sure they're all checked, and that's it. Whoops. Don't click OK, just click cancel. And then you're ready to play. Multiplayer. Let's do remote. Let's go to our fractured webs. Bloop. And jump on in and uh, go. Have fun. Enjoy.